My name is John Chestnut. I'm a research fellow in synthetic biology R&D. Focusing on cell engineering instead of just cloning, uh, and we're working on these new molecules called tal effectors, which can go in and we can program them to bind anywhere in the genome and either carry in a transcriptional activator to turn on a gene or a repressor to turn off a gene or a set of nucleases to go in and make a cut in the DNA uh, to where we can insert new pieces of DNA in the genome very efficiently. Tau proteins are bacterial proteins that, uh, that are secreted into the plant host cell. And these proteins are coded such that they go and they bind the DNA at certain promoter elements and essentially turn genes on inside the plant that allow, uh, that make it easier for the, for the bacteria to invade the plant cell and live in the plant cell. The interesting thing about these proteins is that there are, uh, inside the proteins there are uh, repeat modules uh, in between uh, 7 and uh, 18 or so repeats. And each of these repeats is responsible for binding a specific base in the DNA. What that allows us to do is to, if now that we understand the code, we can engineer these molecules to bind any stretch of DNA that, that we desire. So what we've done is we've turned this into a, a process to where a customer uh, might want to modify their DNA at a specific locus either make a cut in the DNA to, to, make a, uh, to make a mutation or they can want to insert some DNA or they want to turn on or off a gene. So they send us the sequence of DNA that they want to have, that they want to target. And uh, within three weeks we can create a set of tau uh, proteins that will bind to that target within the cell. And to these tau proteins we can fuse either a nuclease domain or we can fuse an activator domain or even a repressor domain. And what that allows us to do then is, the, or that allows the customer to do, is to uh, introduce these molecules into their cells, whether it's a plant cell or an animal cell. And they will go and cleave the DNA or they will activate or repress a gene specifically at the locus that they want. And so this is, um, it, it really enables the customer to do a lot of uh, in molecular biology that they normally wouldn't be able to do. Well, I think any, um, really any cell biologist, and we're looking at in, for instance, for instance, somebody working in plants wants to knock out a specific gene in a pathway to see, you know, to, to maybe produce a more hardy plant. Or in mammalian cells, um, there wants to study, you know, gene knockouts and maybe, uh, you know, uh, embryonic stem cells or something. It's very easy to go in and knock out a gene. Um, for us in synthetic biology, we're interested in using these these molecules in uh, in microbes and algae. So what we'd like to do eventually is to start modifying metabolic pathways using these tools to create uh, biofuels and industrial chemicals more efficiently in these, in these cells. So it's a really handy tool to be able to go in and, and look at the, the metabolic pathways and either turn things off or turn things on to create a better bug. There are other products on the market that have, that have been on the market for several years. Uh, towels are uh, by far much more predictable uh, than, 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 these, than these other tools because we, can, we know the code uh, binding uh, of, of a one repeat to one base. So we can make these much more rapidly uh, at, at a lower cost. Uh, and we can also, we've also found, and it was becoming clear in the literature, that towels uh, do bind the DNA much more specifically uh, than what's currently on the market, leading to lower toxicity uh, in the cells. And so it's, it's a much more specific, we get it to the customer more quickly, and we can, we can make them and sell them at a, at a, at a, at a, at a more competitive price.